Put that right. Attack. He's getting himself in a muddle again. He did this in the opening leg. But the way his darts are laying in, Mark, it, it makes it difficult for him. They're leaning over to the right. 16. So anything on the outside blocks it. Mark, will you require I mean, 164? He should. Get another goal. We've seen this finish. Uh, Joe Cullen earlier in the week against Adam Hunt. It really hurt Rob Cross. We're not going to see it again from Michael Smith. So Cross breathes a sigh 64. of relief, but... Rob, yes, you he's require attacking the doubles, 16. but... That's yeah, better from Rob play. Cross, and after trailing two legs to nearly rattles off three on the spear. He trails in this match. Well, right like we've already alluded 34. to, getting down to the finish, he's okay. It's hitting it. It's final, the doubles are final, that's what makes them different. That's what makes them difficult to hit. And Cross just keeps it in a big one. In nearly every leg, he hit 140 in the last one to leave 137. Double ten. Game seven, that ten is a welcome, a very welcome double ten. Yeah. Fifty-nine. So any sort of confidence he can clutch to, he will do, and he, he'll be pretty confident up there now. He's around the ninety-five average, and yeah, he'll like that as well. Fifty-eight. Rob, you require He's frustrating Michael Smith, and Michael Smith will be concerned. Rob Cross is edging closer to the finish line. If he comes back, which is very likely. Oh, oh, is it? 57? Yes. One Loves treble, seven, uh, treble 18, Mark, doesn't Michael he? To leave 20, Michael Smith. Yeah, he will, he will be treble 18, and Rob Cross will be ready to pounce. Oh, brilliant step from Michael Smith. He was under massive pressure there, but he responds and levels up the match yet again. I, I, yeah, only he'll know, but it's cost him on that occasion, and we've, we've spoke about it in the match, Wayne. These are the tricky finishes. If you don't leave a single double combination off your 150s or your, your 121s or double 18. 26. Mark will you require 66. He said the breaks of throw haven't been spectacular breaks. And Michael Smith, who broke in 18 darts earlier, is going to need 18 darts here. And he gets the break. No emotion from Michael Smith, but he leads for the first time since the third leg when he led 2 1. What a time to break. Wow. Wow. Of all, just make sure that it is to the board for a 10 dart leg. 11, 12, 8 score. Oh dear. Rob, you require are, 70. But... Whilst he's still got the darts, he'll be under pressure. He should be off the stage. And Rob Cross, dart tops to stay alive. Steps back. Michael Smith looking on. He wants another go. Game He's not going to get another go. Michael Smith, for the job was done. It's not done yet. Rob Cross hangs on in there. Game on. Good touch. Does Michael Smith think it's a last leg or is it just a fire in it? Four left. 85. Rob, you require 40. For nine apiece. Are we going all the way? Got to reach it. Game show. He yeah, reached it, all right. Rob what Rob a great start from Rob. And final leg, Rob to Michael Smith. Game on. Three darts at double eight to win this 10 7. It's now nine apiece. Well. Wow, yeah. Dear me, what is Rob Cross doing? There? He's lost it. He's lost, he's lost the ability to hold the darts under pressure. Michael Smith has got a cushion. Just maybe 25 last hour. Oh, he forced it in there. 
Michael Smith has had three match starts already. He's going to get three more. Eighty-one. Extraordinary from Rob Michael, Cross. Michael, you require twenty. Three or four times in this match that he's not gripped the dart properly. Game. That Shot. is the match. Michael Smith comes through an absolute brutal contest, a brilliant contest at times. He beats Rob Cross by ten legs to. Yeah, he didn't even scare the treble, and that just fills Damon no, Head up so. with confidence when he Ready sees kind of lame darts going up at key moments from his opponent. You feed off of that as an opponent. It's a double. It's a three nil. Thirty two. Wow. Devin All of a sudden, Devon Peterson has a chance to break back here with double twelve, and he nails it first time that time. Devin Peterson. Well, wow. like Devon to throw it back. Game could so easily have been three nil down, but now Devon Peterson has the darts. He looks out. Well, now down the board for trouble. Sixteen only got the single. Looking good for a 4 1 advantage here for 56. Damon Hetter. Could have done with a treble, really, but he's left 80 anyway. Yeah, well, he was trying for two treble 16s and tops. The, yep. Which, when the, your opponent's not on a finish, you can go the ways you like. 85. Damon, you require 80. Six starts from here. Now needs double 10 for a 4 1 lead. And he nails it. Good finishing from Damon Hetter. He finds himself 4 1 up. Going into the first break. Not much. Is that boring to see treble 20s going in, <laughs> Tops. For a hold of throw. 84. Oh, Devon Peterson dips Damon below. And allows the door open for yet another break. Tops he needs. One dart left for 6 2. Oh, he's nailed it. He's punished Peterson again. 6 2. Damon Hetter is up here. Go down 19s, 18s, anything but knock him out. 100. For all this, Nigel, Devin's still ahead and has a good chance unless Hetter takes this 1 for 1 to hold his throw. There you go. Stay up for trouble 20. 95. Right, opportunity for Peterson 96. to break back here. This could be a big moment. He's hit the trouble 20, needs double 18. Huge oh, moment for Devon oh, Peterson. Oh, Needed that. It's a break of throw back in his favour. It's Peterson oh, now, 110. 14. Devon, you require 110. Yep. Trouble 21st start. Well, it's not happening. So, David Hedges back for double 18 for a 7 3 lead. Going into our second and final break of the match. He's on the he nails it. David. He's finishing nicely tonight, David Hedges. Very nicely indeed. And that was. Final here at the Grand Slam. And I just mean any player maybe when you're ahead and almost near the line and your opponent looks done for you, you want to keep your head on and I don't think that's an issue for Damon Hedda here. 140. Look at that. He celebrates every 140. Yeah. He's really intense and into this. 18. Double 16 for Devon. Oh well done. Well done. He knows it's a long way back. No big celebration but he can do no more than that particularly as Hedda had asked the question. Jaron. He is, he is doing it. There you go. Oh, His second oh, 80 of the match. 14th oh, of the tournament for Devon Peterson. So this, this is where you're getting cute if you're Damon Hedder. He's trying to hit 133 to leave tops and go on the 19th. And it's hurt him. Now he's got to hit this 130. You get under that nicely, though. Too far under. His belief started to come back for Devon Peterson. Gets this, it's 8 5, holds his throw, it's 8 6. Double 16, Peterson. Big dart, double 8. One dart left. Oh, and fantastic! Great counter from Devon Peterson, he breaks back. So, Peterson favoured. 
before the break. And he's right into that treble. He's going to leave a double. 136, Damien. You've got 144. Well, he really is piling on the pressure now, Devon Peterson. Double 18, big moment. Damon Hatcher delivers the goods. Devon Peterson sat on tops for 8 7. Six starts of the match here. For Damon Hetter. Another one. He's going for the ball. Oh, wow. Well, I for one am glad he tried it. Yeah, what a way that would have been to win the match. Right, 25 needed for Damon Hetter, Grand Slam of Darts debut for a place in the quarterfinals. Double 80 needs. And double 80 gets. Damon Hetter reaches the quarterfinals of the Grand Slam of Darts in his debut campaign. Devon Peterson bows out. 423. Well, even with that last start slip, it leaves 1-3-2. Gary is favored here to hold his throw. 98. Gary did 132. He needs to go the best way possible because Michael is on a finish. And that is the best way when you must do it. Bullseye. Yeah. What an out shot to open up. His first leg. Holds his throw. And we truly a brilliant start for the man that's won this championship three times. Big moments already here, Gary John. Uruguay, oh, yes, and kind of a must convert here for Gary Anderson early on. Stand his ground, tops. Double 10. 75. And that's painful. Michael yeah. Uruguay, Forget 20. the leg, that's painful. 45 was great. The tops was okay. The double 10 wasn't well thrown. That yeah. was Rolls Royce in a race to 10 to book his place in the corner. Averaging 98 but getting beaten 4 1 to Michael Van Gerwen's 97. Michael's looked cool, calm, composed. Gary's had his moments with a 1 3 2 finish. That's how he won his only leg. Yeah, the win the second leg. 460. He was, uh, he kind of needed it. Well, no, he didn't really need it. But it was for the morale you needed it. 95. Michael was on a finish. It was a big one. But Michael has looked like this. That delivery, the composure, the, the matter of fact excellence. He's looked like this all through this tournament. Yes. And, and he wasn't coming into this tournament ever looking like that for quite a while. And now they're smashing him in. This might be the best he's looked in 2020. Oh wow! Oh wow! One eight is a difficult. Oh, he's missed this. He's missed the uh, six and hit the ten, and then went quick, quick, quick. Twenty-five. We're talking about composure, Gary Anderson. Could have just taken a millisecond there. John, I've just had a little counter. There were seven one eighties in that leg alone. <laughs> And they would have had more, but they ran out of time. <laughs> it's not too easy to do, John. 149. Well, when he's his proper self, it's pretty routine, I think, but he hasn't been his proper self no, for so that, long. No. Yeah. Again, Wayward. 29. He was Wayward off the 106 92. in the previous leg. 60, 32 for 7 1. Gary Anderson at the moment. Yeah, it's been a bit harsh on him this match, oh, really. I mean, he's had his faults, but not major faults. Yeah, the scoreline is is as bad as it could have been for him. He's missed a few at the oh, double. He's up. Mind you, why? That one, three, two in the second leg. Would have thought he'd have lost the next. The next seven. Bullseye. 
This is brilliant from Michael Van Gerwen. Three time world champ, three time Grand Slam champ. Well, kind of a setup turn, really, more than anything. And he didn't do a great job there, but Michael is looking to really pressure, and he is. Treble 18 with the oh, top, still 76, yes. but 10 ahead of Anderson. 86. 54. 18 or treble. Bullseye. 61. Is that going to be the last 76. visit in this year's Grand Slam for Gary Anderson? Tops. Yeah. It was the last visit. Michael Van Gerwen wraps up a real comprehensive win over Gary Anderson by 10 legs to two. Three Square scoreboard 109. Good chance and. Nathan Aspinall is going to get three darts to break. Yes. Early on in this match, because that first down. Nathan, you require Price. Fulton. Disappointment with that first one. Oh, good. Good guy for Nathan's got to use that. Game yeah, shot. Yeah, had to go in, and Nathan Aspinall breaks. Good break, Nathan. Yeah, that was a good guy, wasn't it, Mark? That was spot on. on. And uh, advantage, Nathan Aspinall. Pressure to hold his throw. 64. Aspinall's playing some good stuff here. 16 leaves the double with 16. Needs tops. 24. Well, well, well. Go the door is still open for Gerwin Price to break back here. Treble 18 would leave the double. To bounce back straight away. Oh, oh so brilliant from Gerwin there. Price. No, Nathan no. Aspinall sat on tops, waiting to go. Going to throw first. Look how frustrated Nathan is there. Price bouncing back. No roar that Game time, on. just a little uh, punch of the air. And uh, well, shaping up to be quite a game this match. Price frustrated that he's not even on a finish here. Surely it's looking like a 3 2 advantage, Nathan Aspinall, at the first break of this match. Thinks about where to go in the One event right of Aspinall not going out here. Can you require 80? Nathan should have left this a bit better off 130. But he gets a chance to tidy up and lead again. Two darts, a double ten. He only needs one, and there's the roar. Nathan Aspinall breaks again. He leads Gerwin Price at the first break here by three legs of two. Trouble 14 now. Leaves double 16. 75. Going to require Move the wire. Move the wire. Double eight now for Nathan. One run right and 35. Nathan Surely this time now. 16. Yeah. Crucially, but a double break. And he knows how important it is. This is why he's taking his time. Double break a throw. And he'd be halfway to the quarterfinals. It's just he's refocused twice now, Nathan. Something. Bothering him, this could be key. Ah, in the him. Yeah, the, an issue with the camera, I think, Nathan. Is, uh, is something moving. How much trouble is he in and, and all the rest of it? It's because we know what he's capable of. And look at this. One run you know, We know any time that he can mount a comeback and, and automatically then put pressure back on Aston. Yeah, agreed, Nigel. I, he didn't need to go for the ball there, but he wanted someone to fire him up, didn't he, Nigel? Yeah. And I think the ball would have. Still should close out this leg, and does leave a finish. Double 12 for 6 3. Double 6. Game time, There's the roar. He knows Perfect. how important that is. Spot on. Fair reflection of the way this game has gone so far. Nathan Aspinall playing nicely. Far more consistent than Price tonight. He is being afforded too much time at the back end of the leg again here and that's what we're concerning getting price 59 being too many comfortable legs for Nathan Aspinall in this second session and again Aspinall can use the treble 18 this is for 7-3 one more and he does find it and there, there's the word again Nathan Aspinall is on the brink of the quarterfinals and not left to finish so said it was key that he didn't just let Gavin Price rattle off a few legs and it's looking like 
We'll go in 7 5, and then Gerwin Price has the darts. 92. That's a slip. And he knows it. Even a turn for Nathan. The pressure on the 87. How much? One run out, folks. Well, there you go. go. That's good from Nathan Aspinall. Pressure on Price. Travel 20 needed. Has to go for the ball. Going oh, to the Price! Goodness me, what a performance that is! A break of throw, and now, and now, Nathan Aspinall must worry. What a... Like you say, Mark, it's down to the crunch. This is the business end. Who will hold their nerve? 81! Going to require one hundred and five. say who wants it more. Because they both want it. It's all about who holds their nerve, isn't it? Another one of those. Get oh, Gerwin Price get turning on the style now. What a performance and what a reaction. Moment for Nathan Aspinall. To go within two legs of the quarterfinals and to stop the Gerwin Price barrage. Topsy needs. Oh, Nathan. Played the percentage on the bullseye now to allow himself a dart at a more favourable double because you go the treble route and you don't find one, you end up at the bullseye. I think it was a, a good move from Nathan because it would have been big effort from Gerwin Price to take out the 164. These are big moments for Nathan. Wow, he's chasing, he's chasing. Oh, and he misses. Oh, goodness. Four darts, race six. 72. This to get Gerwin Price back on level terms and then throw for the lead. 16 leaves tops. This is a massive moment. Agony for Aspinall. 32. Oh. Nathan, you require Chance. 10. Aspinall is coming back. You can feel the tension, Mark, from here. Yeah, this isn't a nice double under these circumstances either. He's got to attack. Goodness me. Nathan Aspel's already had four darts to win this leg. There's five. These are key moments. And these are nervy darts. Five and there we score. see the nerves are getting to Nathan Aspinall. Seven Going darts he's had Bolton. to lead A6. And all of a sudden, Gerwin Price for his fourth leg on the spin to level up the match and he then have the darts he's chasing the doubles now yeah, but he so finds it the last one we're level yeah. Nathan Aswell can't believe what's happening yes he was in trouble Mark isn't it well he was, go he was always going to Niger two players who leave everything up there and credit Aspinall one, 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 he does take out this ninth after what happened 90. in the previous leg testament to the character but he's not going to get a, at least a doubt of the point at this point with that he's just going, going to require 75 hope that Gedwin Price doesn't take out the 75 Price hasn't led since he led one leg to nil at the beginning of the match tops to lead Game seven, Gerwin Price has the advantage now. 16 leg, Nathan the throw first, game on. Five legs. Set up for when he's back, and he will be back. Price a mile behind here, but it has been quite some run 57. for Gerwin Price Nathan to take the lead at 8-7. Now Aspinall to stop the rot. Needs double 16. Game nice. Seven, six eight a piece. Nathan Aspinall. On the previous finish he, had, he could have had a go at 90 he didn't get a dart of ball he got away with that one went for, went for two tops there Fonty he's careless three. from Nathan you've got to get that dart minimum at the bullseye especially at this stage of the match will he be made to pay Gerwin Price will stay there double 15 this would hurt 80 oh. well that hurts Price Nathan you require Nathan Aspinall needs tops for 9-8 and then he'll throw for the match 
A remarkable match indeed. A good finish. Cool as you like, Nathan Aspinall. He's one away. Edwin Price will be thinking he's got six to send this to a deciding leg. He may not need six. Treble 19. We've got for another treble 20 or a treble 16, but the, the guide on the treble 20 was perfect. He's disappointed with that. He will. Now, if he takes this, it's the match. But as you said, we uh, probably have the mindset that Price would have six starts from there. And so it's proved. So Price to level it at nine all. And then he has a throw to win the match. Going to require 68. Nathan should have gone for the 20 with the last start. Oh, double four. Could be relevant. Double four. Send us to the side. Uh, Big dart. Oh, 69. my goodness. Nathan, you require now that Nathan 92. Aspinall. How's your nerves? Nice by going for that 18. 17 for the ball. Bullseye for the match. Yeah. Nathan Aspinall has hit the bullseye and finds his way through to the quarterfinals of the Grand Slam. And the back to back winner, Gerwin Price, is out. Congratulations, Nathan Aspinall. He is jubilant and quite.